What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. This is episode number 10. Last episode we left off, we recruited Fenris here. We actually... We got pretty much sent on a goose chase to find this, this gentleman Anso's goods, which was not there. It was it was bait and switch, pretty much, with Fenris. It led us into a Tevinter ambush. We dealt with them, but long story short... um. Fenris is a runaway slave from Tevinter, that's where he got all these markings and his crazy party trick that he can do with putting his fist through somebody's chest. Yeah. Anyway, so the Magister Denarius, I think his name is, from Tevinter wants him back. So he came to this mansion in hopes to find him and kill him, but he was not here. So he didn't have much money to give us, which I don't really care about the money anyway. Um, it's gonna be nice to have another companion on the road with us. Um, so he pledged his service to us, he'll help us into the deep roads, and such like that. And that's where we left off. We were outside last episode, now we're inside. And I believe I'm going to talk to Fenris. And then from there, um... I'm gonna look at the journal, I think. Um, I'm thinking about going to Sundermount. But I might have to go trigger... Uh, the Lost Prince, or whatever the Prince quest is. We'll see. Let's talk to Fenris, though. Agrigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Denarius used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. It's quite an intimidating appearance you have, <laughs> Fenris. Who's to know if I mean, like, he gonna stick his hand through somebody's chest? Yeah, it's pretty darn intimidating. I mean, I think he looks cool as hell. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Nothing like a bit of fear with your wine. That's what Denarius used to say. Hell yeah! Now it's a party! It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. <laughs> what a waste, though, man! I didn't even get a chance to chug none of it with you. I could have used the shot with you, Fenris. You could have offered me a glass first, you know. There's more, if you're really interested. Hell yeah! Perish the thought. How else would you redecorate the walls? <laughs> <laughs> you're the man, Hawk. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? Um, Sen definitely wants to return to Ferelden. No doubt, it's his home. You can leave your home, but your home is never going to leave you. No matter how hard you want to leave your the place, it's just never it's, it's never going to leave you. Uh, but I guess we have to make do with what we got. This is our home now, you know. I've started a life here. And that's it. You leave it behind so easily. Oh, that's not easy. I lost my sister to the Blight. And now she no longer matters to you? I apologize. Your life is your own. It simply sounds very familiar. <laughs> I didn't want to leave Fenris. I didn't. That's another thing with the dialogue here. The dialogue is so tricky. It's like tricking us completely in this game. Like, it's saying... The way I per per perceived that was, okay, it sucks that I had to leave Kirkwall. I mean, had to leave Ferelden because I didn't want to leave. But in saying that, now it's like we didn't give a shit about Ferelden. So, this dialogue is very misleading. Not really a fan of that right now. Especially what it did with Anders. But anyways, let's just keep going. Maybe it will change. Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but there is no life for me there. Saharan? Is that where you're from? So I've been told. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. Hmm. It kind of reminds me of Sten. From Origins with his short remarks. You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus, though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No, it is better to wait for him to leave his fortress, fight from a fortified position. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. Fenris, I got your back, brother. You've been on the run a long time then. 
Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Well, you know, I've always thought about this myself, and I didn't think about it until kind of right now for some reason, but... He says Fen or Fenris. He says Denarius always tracks him down. I wonder if the Markins... It, well, it was, of course it's some sort of blood magic for one, but I wonder if the Markins are like a beacon, how Templars can track down mages with um, phylacteries. I wonder if it's kind of the same way with Fenris here. It would be pretty... It, it's kind of obvious though, kind of. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, Maybe. where they could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. I await his return. <laughs> what if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. Ah, I guess I would do the same thing. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. Maybe it's just me, but it sounds like you want to stick around. <laughs> I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Yes, you should. Had I known Anso would find me a man so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. Well, shit. You sound like you're about to ask for a loan. Well, this mansion does require some upkeep. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit. With any luck, I'll become better at it. <laughs> ah, Fenris. <laughs> we actually got approval with Fenris. Okay. Maybe saying what we said was actually a good thing. Okay. I'm not complaining. I just, it, it kind of it upset me with that Anders thing. I have ran into that a couple times with Mass Effect, but it hasn't been... It's never really been too noticeable in Dragon Age from what I can remember. Alright, let's go ahead and fast forward through that. Alright, that's Kirkwall's history number three. I am not going to read that now. So I think we got all Kirkwall's history. I'm going to put that into a separate episode. I'm really going to dive into the codexes in a separate episode here. Um, I think... I kind of want to go towards... The Chantry for... Let's see here. Let's look at our that's inventory. Uh, how do you put journal out? J, probably. <laughs> Let's do premium content. The Exile Prince. Let's go towards the Chantry in Hightown during the day and see what that is about. Because I, I think it's about time for that to trigger. Okay, what's over here? Secret Rendezvous. The Black Emporium. Yeah, let's go ahead and go to Hightown. I think we have a shy ton of stuff here to turn in during the day anyway. If I am not mistaken. Hey! What's up, gang? That's a good crew right here. We gotta get Fenris some Stay stuff. Stay out of the shadows. There are a hundred times more cut purses here than in Lowtown. You think so, Varric? In that I'm case, let's get Bowen on board then. He'll protect us, Varric. Don't you so, worry, my man. That uh, thing you do with your hand. <laughs> I can already tell this isn't going anywhere pleasant. I bet that makes pickpocketing easier. I'll try it sometime and find out. <laughs> You'll wind up trying it and putting his hand through somebody's leg. <laughs> Look at all these quests here. We got that one there, one there, one there. Oh. Sebastian. Stop this madness. The Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right, my duty, to show these assassins there is nowhere in the free marches to hide. This is murder. I love that armor. Oh my god. No. What happened to my family was murder. Coming through. <laughs> okay, well, I guess... Let's go ahead and pick up what. Have you seen him? Karen, was it? What is she no. doing? There are many Templars. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Duty. A grave crime was committed against all free march, free thinking men and women in the marches. The ruling Vale family 
in Starkhaven, my family was brutally murdered down to the youngest babe in arms. This massacre was carried out by members of the Flint Mercenary Company. I hereby offer a bounty for a for the head of each Flint Company soldier in Kirkwall's vicinity. Sebastian Vale. Prince Sebastian Vale. Okay, let's go ahead and take that. What do you say we talk to these people? She's crying. Excuse me, madam. Please, can you help me? My brother. Yeah. Don't worry. Helping people and killing people are what I'm best at. Uh, <laughs> I, I uh, hope there will be no call to kill anyone, Sarah. Look at her face. Karen was always so devout. So idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order. But he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. Simmer down here, good woman. Tell me what's going on. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. We've seen her when we first and came in the city, remember? The service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce hmm. and utterly without pity that she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. You're not exactly whispering, darling. You were talking out loud. But I don't see any Templars around here. What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage. And she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. Hmm. Anders would shit his small clothes if you heard this. Um. Hmm. So, you think the Templars, what, killed and ate your brother? Maker forbid. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh my god. They just stopped writing me. Maker forbid. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander <laughs> Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. You're the man, Hulk. You're the man. Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance, in your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmot and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. Wilmot and if Hugh? knows where he is, it's them. Make her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. Make her watch over you, Please. Masha. Maka. Find Karen, good sir. All right, who is this pleb? Magistrate Venard? You there, Freldon. I wish to speak with you. Hey, simmer down, Freldon. Be pants here in the middle of certain elements in the city. High town. You can get things done on the sly, as they say. <laughs> on the sly? I don't like this guy. Let's be forceful. What of it, old man? <laughs> I am a magistrate in this city. <laughs> what of it, old man? Dressed with respect. Some magistrate. Especially from someone who might be working for me soon. <laughs> a man I sentenced to a life in prison has escaped custody. He's been tracked to an abandoned ruin outside the city. I'd like you to retrieve the fugitive. I can't even. Him over what is he even guard. saying? I don't missed it all. I don't miss <laughs> missed everything. Can we rewind? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Hawk, you're killing me. <laughs> He's just. <laughs> okay. Why is there such a clamor to catch this man? Sorry. What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. <laughs> okay, I can't, I can't wait to work for you, man. You just, you have it all figured out. We're both intelligent people. There's something in the ruins, isn't there? There is something, yes. There are creatures in the ruins. The guards I sent are ill-equipped to deal with such beasts. Hmm. Do you know what manner of beasts they are? I don't know what they look like. I've never seen one myself. The guards say these things have already torn through a full company of men. This voice sounds so familiar to me, guys. Like, his voice. How can I even say this without... Hmm. It reminds me of the voice of the antagonist from Inquisition. Not all... Oh how that voice is in Inquisition, if that makes sense. I think it's the same one. 
I don't know though. It'd be easier to seal up the entrance and let the beasts take care of him. I believe in justice, Ferelden, not unbridled slaughter. I will not let prisoners be eaten just because I don't want to get my hands dirty. Hmm. Okay then, we'll do it your way there, pal. I'm sure if you send in enough men this time, they'd do fine. No. The more guards who know, the easier it is for this to get out. Those men gossip like old fishwives. <laughs> I wish Abilene was here, actually. Damn it. Alright, let's take this job. What's the worst that can happen, right? I'll take the job. Bring the fugitive in alive, quickly and quietly. Not only will you be well paid, you'll have the gratitude of a city magistrate. Useful for a refugee, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> What of it, old man? <laughs> oh my god, Hawk is killing! Okay, what do we got over here? This is Help Wanted, Hubert the Bone Pit, Help Wanted, Bloomin' Rose, Thin Real, Loose Ends, Remains of Sister Pilth, Amaranthine Conspirators. Let's... I'm curious to see what that is, because I've never, I've, I've never seen this quest, whatever the hell it is. I am from here. I think I'm going to go back to Gamlin's place. Hey, how you guys doing? Oh, never mind. Okay, let's go we're fighting. Okay, let's go ahead and crush and prison this lady. Okay, she's a boss. Okay, very good. Let's get sent on her. I'm going to get Varric. Oh, I don't want you to pinning shot yet. Let's go ahead and pinning shot her. And then get Carver on board with a mighty blow on her. Booyah! Eat that! Fenris, what do you got going on? Let's get Fenris with a mighty blow as well. Ooh, Fenris didn't do nothing! Okay, no biggie. Let's hit Carver with a barrier. Okay, she's almost done for. Let's go ahead and throw some basic attack in until we're fighting. Ooh, she healed. Okay, she's stunned. She's pretty much done here. We got guys on us. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. Can anyone else? Okay, Everick can explosive shot. Let's see if I can pick off these three guys without hitting friendly fire here. Oh yeah! And then let's go ahead and just stun these fellas. Damn, we got Fenris. Not too good. All right. I'm gonna back up, mighty blow this guy here. And then put Varric into stealth. Let's go ahead and whose health is high? Let's let's hit the Archer with Crush in prison. He's pretty much done. And this guy here. One more for me! We're keeping score, right? <laughs> we keep a score, son! We're keeping score. It's very unhealthy, Varric. Is there anything to loot on the ground here? Does not look like it. No. Okay. So they had nothing to loot. What is back here? Ooh, okay. Hidden stuff. Probably gonna be nothing but junk. Yeah, junk. <laughs> A fancy poison ring. Well now. Alright, let's go ahead and head to Gamlin's place. I feel like I have to head there for... something. I don't know what. I feel like it's for... Fenris? Not Fenris. Uh, S Sebastian. I feel like it's for his quest. Let's just go there, and from here, I'm going to change party and then head towards Sundermount. And go ahead and get a real quest on board. I'm with you, brother. I need to get Fenris something. Like a two-handed blade. Is this... This is a great sword. Two-handed. Physical... This is a great sword. Oh, level 17, though. Requires this two-handed. Let's get that to Fenris. There's another one of Fenris' stuff. And this is Fenris as well. That's what I wanted to come here for. This requires two-handed. 
It's a maul? Okay. We need to give Fenris something, because he is just weak as... <laughs> weak as anything. Okay. Duty. Okay. To whoever elects to participate in the charitable deed of assisting the Vale family of Starkhaven, His Most Worthy Highness Sebastian Vale has provided instructions for anyone brave and noble enough to attempt the eradication of the rabble who dared to attack his family. Three groups of Flint Company mercenaries have been sighted in Kirkwall vicinity. One group makes camp not far from the elves in Sundermount. That's why I wanted to wait until Sundermount. I knew I had to wait for something. Because we would have had to backtrack. Okay. I'm trying to do everything but not backtracking. But my memory just eludes me on certain things. The second has been seeking information on the docks after nightfall. The third is far is far from the main road off the wounded coast. They are believed to have a small campsite well past any known landmarks. A princely award awaits whoever finds and defeats all these rogues. May the maker guide you. Chanter Talitha. Okay, so I knew we had to come here for something. Okay, I also want to look at... Let's put that back. We're not ever going to wear it. Uh, we can't do that to level 7. I don't think we can wear anything else. Okay. That's cool. Um, hey Bo, you got anything going on? My man? <laughs> Are you searching for buried treasure? Or just trying to tunnel out of this hovel? Good luck with that. <laughs> okay, I'm cool. Anything going on? Oh. Uh, he didn't have anything going on. Mother, anything? Is this dwarven truly way? Uh, it seems to be the only way, Mother. I know. Okay, Sunder Mount. Let's go with Fenris. Mm hmm. Varric. And Anders. Parts of me wants to take Carver over Varric. But we need Varric. I feel like Carver doesn't have any state there. I'm trying to think of who... Interesting for dialogue. Um, Fenris is very interesting here if you, well, play your cards right, I guess. Because Fenris yields a lot of uh, disapproval if you don't want to do that way. Um, yeah, let's do that. I think that's the right, and then let's head to uh, Sundermount. Duty and a long way home, shall we? Okay, so this is a long way home. This is the amulet that, that Flemeth gave us. She wanted us to give it to a Dalish camp outside of uh, Kirkwall. If you are all interested, um, this is also a clan from Origins as well. Okay, let's get Fenris on board with some new stuff. What do you think? Both physical. Okay, this one does more damage right now. Lost memory. Give him that. We could use a... Okay, Ooh, there you go, Fenris. Looks like you got a big-ass butter knife. We'll do some damage. Alright, let's get Bo on deck. Okay, I want to switch... Crushing Prison there. I want to just grass there, yeah? Okay, let's go ahead and head out and see what's going on. Let's save. And then go talk to some elves, shall we? Okay, we got <laughs> some mercenaries on board here. Okay, this is indeed the mercenaries. What's this guy over here? Let's go ahead and crush and imprison him. Her. I want to... Mind Blast the area. And I also want to get on with Varric here. Okay, what do we got back here? Let's hit this one with Explosive Shot. And then stun her. Let's go ahead and get Fenris on deck. The Mighty Blow. Oh yeah, eat that! That's what I'm talking about, Fenris. I love controlling Fenris. He's like my favorite companion to control in this game. He has so cool abilities. 
Okay, let's go ahead and tear this guy up a bit. Oh yeah, eat that! He just needed some, uh... He just needed a little bit of TLC is all. Okay, what does this guy got going on? Flint Company Circus? Sir, sir, whatever that word is. <laughs> I can't even say it. Flint Company Shirt. Okay, so he had nothing. I don't see anything else. I was expecting, like, an amulet or something. Off these people now. Hey, Bo, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? <laughs> I love Mabaris in this game. I do. I so do. Um, any, let's look for any kind of herbs. If we could just find, like, one elf root or something. Speak of the devil. There's elf root right there. Very cool. Now we can go ahead and make potions from Lady Elegant, I believe. We just need to. We just kind of needed to find it. Okay, let's go in here and talk to the elves. See what the hell. Oh, we leveled up. Before we do all that, let's go ahead and one in magic. Um, I really want to start doing Constitution. I'm not really sure though. Now we can get our specialization at 7, I believe. Yeah, see, we can get... Everything is just given to us in this game, so... It might just be a little bit more beneficial for us guys to just go ahead and... What does this give us first? Physical and elemental? Right now... It gives us mana and stamina right now. But... It gives us healing aura that we can use. Parts of me wants to get... Spirit healer right now until we get to around level 14 ish and then Go into like blood magic But then again, I really really love See the only problem with force mage is you're limited to using a ranged party That's the thing Because fist of the maker is friendly fire The gravity ring is ridiculously friendly fire. It slows everybody down to a bloody. There's nothing Telekinesis Burst is not, and Pool of the Abyss is most definitely um, friendly fire. Blood Magic, none of this is friendly fire at all, so we'll probably end up doing that. And I think it's just more beneficial for us to go into Spirit Healing for now. Yeah. I would like to get a Tome of Technique, which I think we can... I'm going to buy one from Hubert, and I believe we'll still have enough money for the Deep Roads. I know we can go ahead and buy one from somebody right now. I think it's from Hubert's Goods. So, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, what does Healing Aura do? Health Regeneration Rate. It's a sustained ability. Okay. While this mode is active, the Mage can use Spirit Healer spells and become a locus of Restoration Energies. Okay, so it's just kind of as like a Healing Aura, in a sense, I guess. Okay, that works for me. Let's go ahead and self any of that. Um. I will take it off if need be. He's default, ranged, and ranged. Okay, very good. I will take it off if need be. What I'm going to do is put it on zero, which makes it very easy for me to take it off and back on. Oh yeah. Okay, because that's kind of what I did with blood magic. Old shaman, Whoa! Your kind are not welcome among the Dalish. <laughs> what did you call me? What's a shemlin? <laughs> it is the elven word for human. It means you're not one of the people, and you should leave now. Well, aren't you a cherry soul? Who are you people? We are the last of the Elven. So you say, frequently. We remember who the people truly are, even as you city elves forget. Um... I'm not expecting tea and cakes. <laughs> I just need to see someone. There's nothing here for any human. <laughs> Wait, this is the one the Keeper spoke of. He's a Shemlin. Dalish will never give us tea and cakes. Be an elf. 
Enter the camp. Keeper Marathari has been waiting for you. Okay. Cause trouble, and you'll meet our blades, stranger. Cause trouble, and you'll meet our blades, stranger. <laughs> He's gonna meet some crushing prison guys, is he not? I was Good told schmuck. to bring you this amulet. It's good to see Anders again, guys. I, f I still feel terrible from two episodes ago. Andaran Atishan, travelers. I'm an Indeed, idiot. I am Keeper Marathari. Let me look at you. There is a light in your heart, human. Don't let it go out. It won't go out. You will need it. Tell me how this burden fell to you, child. Don't ask me. She swooped down upon us and. Oof, save this. Your guards said you spoke of me. How did you know I was coming? I listened. To the wind, to the birds, as the hunters do. To my dreams. I watched the stars. Hmm. There is great wisdom to be found all around us, if you know how to listen for it. But I was not certain. Nothing is certain. Are you the leader of these Dalish? Why did the witch tell me to bring this amulet to you? I am the keeper of this clan. It is my task to guide my people and to ensure the old ways are not forgotten. As for Asha Belinar, I am tied to her, just as you are, by a debt that must be repaid. Okay. I wonder why she's tied to Flemeth. Maybe Flemeth saved her clan? To get out of... I don't know, guys. There's there's many things I'm thinking about. I just don't know what it can be. I would The obvious answer would be her and her clan are saved from Ferelden's Blight. Because she has plans. Like, she can... Okay. It makes sense, yeah. She saved them, so we can come here and bring this amulet. Yeah, makes sense. Exactly what have I been carrying around? Is it magic? It is a promise, child. Made by one whose word still has weight. And therefore, it has terrible power. There are few things in this world stronger than a promise kept. Remember that. Hmm. Well... A dragon fell from the sky, charred some darkspawn, then asked me to bring you this amulet. No big deal. <laughs> you are blessed by luck, then. I will pray that Mithal watches over your path. The amulet must be taken to an altar at the top of the mountain, and given a Dalish rite for the departed. Yeah, see, this is then, why. return the amulet to me. Makes sense. Do this and your debt will be repaid. Are you going to teach me this right for the departed? I will send my first with you. She will see to it the ritual is done. And when it is complete, I must ask that you take her with you when you go. Take her with me? Wh <laughs> what? Who is your first? First of what? Your people would call her my apprentice or heir. Meryl would have taken my place Meryl. as keeper, but she has chosen a new path. Please, guide her safely from here. This is very weird indeed, guys, is it not? This is like meeting a stranger completely walking down the road. Hey, I want to give you my child. I just, I'm not going to tell you why, but take her. Because <laughs> you know the first of a Dalish uh, clan is like almost... The child of of the keeper here, not legitimately, but you you, you get what I'm saying. That's <laughs> just that seems a little odd. Yeah, it is her wish, and I must grant it. You will find Meryl waiting for you on the trail just up the mountain. Dareth Shiral. Yeah, yeah. So be it. <laughs> okay, before we talk to Meryl, let's go ahead and pick up stuff here. Pick up some codexes that we'll read later. Geography of Thetis. Okay, we got that. 
Okay, so if you guys are no doubt aware, if you don't know, I didn't want to spoil it before we actually got here. But this clan is the same clan uh, from a Herial story. The Warden, uh, Dalish Warden, so it's the same exact clan. It's the same Meryl and all that. Okay, we know about that already. We pretty much know about everything here. We will go ahead and do a Codex Day. Like I said, I keep repeating it, and I will make it happen. Um, soon. Shemlin. Hey, what's up, girl? Want to talk? No? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, Master... Wonderful. Make your business here quick. You gotta be so mean? Why do you gotta be so rude, Arlathan? Well, okay, we'll wait for part two. Excuse me, sir. I am Master Eilan, a crafter for this clan. Forced to stay so close to this Shemlin city, I've seen my share of outsiders pass through our camp. Is there something you needed? Are you a specialist? What sort of things do you make? A Dalish crafter does many things. We create weapons, armor, anything our clan has need of. Hmm. Okay. I don't need anything right now. Of course. Let's go ahead and look through his stuff here. Okay, what does this guy got? I'm gonna sell that. That. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's sell all this stuff. Okay, what does he have? Rings and such. Rune of nature. Sell all of our junk. Okay, so he has no tomes or no armor or anything like that for anybody, which is very good. Okay, so we have 15 gold. We pr probably have enough. Dalish crafting is second to none. Yeah, yeah, whatever about Dalish crafting. <laughs> you don't share it with anybody. Wade would be so pissed. <laughs> he would have his words with you. Okay, let's go up here before we talk to Meryl. I'm actually, I think I'm going to end the Did episode before we actually talk to Meryl. You are an abomination. Ooh. Why don't you shout? I don't think everyone heard you. There's nobody here, though. Do you see so good. yourself as harmless, then? An abomination who would never harm anyone? Like ripping someone's heart out of his chest. I did that at the behest of no demon. So we agree that it doesn't take a demon for someone to be a vicious killer. Ooh. Good. Point Anders. I wholeheartedly agree with Anders on that, guys. So much bull snap. A lot of people. Oh my god, spiders! Get out of here! <laughs> Fuck this! I'm out of here! Look how big they are! Okay, let's just let's just take him out. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and crush him prison. This one. Oh, I can't. I can't use any abilities here. What's going on? Oh, you can't use offensive abilities with that on. I got it now. What a waste of nothing. Okay, so what we'll do is hold on. No, no. I got. I, I know what we're gonna do. Okay, crush in prison is off. Not on cooldown, unfortunately. Yeah, that has me uh, completely confused as hell. I'm sorry. Okay, so we can't use this in combat here. We can only use it. Okay, okay, I got it now. It will not let us use abilities. Shite. Where is character? Here it is. Okay, so... No, no, no. Self. Health. 10%. Put that on, I guess. Huh? I don't know. But it really doesn't matter. Because we'll be controlling Sen. So, if we have no abilities up, if we can't use anything, as in defensive, or I mean offensive stuff, these two we can still use these with that on yeah see what I mean so we will be okay okay that's cool what are these up here once we run out of defense oh this is the amaranthine conspirators hey excuse me bud you're one of the amaranthine conspirators there's a bounty on your head what do you say we kill them you all right crushing prison on deck for you buddy Don't give 
Let's go ahead and get Fenris on board with a Mighty Blow on this gentleman. Oh yeah, eat that! Okay, he's stunned. Let's get Varric on board with a Explosive Shot back here. And then stun everyone back here. I think we're going to stun Bo, unfortunately, but it should be okay. Let's put Varric into stealth. What does Blondie got going on? Um, have him paralyze the Conspirator, the big guy. Sen pretty much hit everything, so let's go ahead and get it on. And then basic attack. Yeah, see how it's pretty much healing people around us. That's very good. Let's go ahead and hit ourselves with barrier. Oh, we gotta hightail it. Let's heal ourselves. Okay, let's go ahead and get this off, and then Winter's Grass, this gentleman. Okay, nothing did nothing to him. Okay. Fenris, I'm gonna need you to taunt, my man. Fenris cannot taunt because he has no uh, stamina. Okay, Anders, can you heal Sen? Okay, Fenris needs some kind of stamina stuff, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and take this guy out. Hell yeah! Okay, two conspirators down. It's good that we came here, because I had no clue. The Valroyo won too. <laughs> I had no clue these guys are up here. I was just trying to scope out the area and look for any kind of herbs if we needed any more. Okay, let's head on back to the camp. Varric. Okay, let's give him a bit more cunning. And then give him... Rhyming triplet. Okay, tactics, um... Enemy... Any... Use... This ability. Actually, enemy... I want to do... Target using... Target using ranged or magic. Have him use that. I don't want him to completely get out of stamina. And he works on the um, the archers, which are pesky. I seem to be doing that anyway. I work on a lot of the archers with Sen and Varric. More than anybody else. Okay, head to the camp here. I'm actually going to end the episode on that. This concludes episode 10. It has been... A very interesting episode to say the least. It's going to get only more interesting when we head up here and talk to Meryl. So, as always, I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is. Until episode 11, um, we'll take on the rest of Sundermount, and I will see you all then. Take care, my friends, and be safe out there.